afternoon everybody here we are on the 18th of may tile number 24 my word did we think when we first did all this that we were going to be on tile 24 gosh hey karen uh yeah a bit crazy isn't it it's uh yeah things are still a bit mad out there but you know we just keep going and santangle that's the idea anyway Okay, as you can see here then, what have I got on the desk? I did say that I was going to be using this shaped tile on, uh, on Monday. And I don't need to panic if you've not got one. It's fine, it doesn't matter. If you've got a stencil, you can see there that I've used the outside edge just to sort of draw my shape. But again, if you don't have a shape, don't worry about it. Just sort of cut the corners off a regular square tile it, please i don't want you to worry or stress about that in any way it's just nice sometimes to try something a little bit different isn't it so okay we've got that and i've got the regulars the pen the pencil the tortillon and that's about it that's all we're going to be working with so i'm going to take them away for a little minute and i'm just going to work on this okay i know so monday again eh all right so are we ready then I'm going to break, uh, not a rule as such, but I'm, I'm going to break with traditions a little bit. And I am going to use my square tile just as a straight edge. Hey, Kimmy. Hi there, Rita. Hello, everybody. And I'm going to go straight in with my pen. And what I'm going to do, I'll turn it around so it's this way. On my little tile here, let's go a bit bigger. I'm going to put myself quite a thin border. Oh, yeah. From there to there. And again that's if you cross it over it's fine all right nice thin border there all the way around the tile okay just keep it going so what have you been up to this weekend i had quite a busy weekend i must admit it's a bit crazy and now we're uh, we're in the middle of moving, as you know, on the moving premises. So half of my machinery is at one premises and half is at the other. But it'll be worth it, it really will. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit chaotic here. But it's all good fun. Keeps us going, doesn't it? Okay, so there we go. I know, Lorraine, number 24. There we go. So then I'm going to do the same again on the inside here. And see, I'm creating a really narrow border there. Okay. Again, normally we do borders with uh, pencils, but I'm not today. Let's see, let's just join that one up. I'm going straight in with the pen. Oh, somebody always has to bring food into it, don't they? Okay. Well, I hope it's, is it the right time then for planting veg? I've, I've never done it, so. Is there a right time? Should you do it at a certain point in the year? I don't know. Oh, hey Garth, hey Sam, Joyce. I've written your address on an envelope today, Joyce. Yeah. Okay, last one. And there we go. Okay. Oh, lovely Tina. Have you found some old pots and pans in the back or some pasta that you never knew you had? <laughs> there we go. Party in the street, oh my word. There we go. So I'm gonna switch just for now, just to my pencil. And I'm gonna sort of join these points together. So it's just to guide this. So keep it light and don't worry about it being exactly straight. We just want a little bit of a line going from there to there. You see, I notice that I always go from top to bottom. I think it makes it a little easier, but some people find side to side fine and that's okay too. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a bit further. There you go. And into there. So I've, I've split it into these triangles. Uh, oh, Joe, it's supposed to be the last one, isn't it? We did say, but then again, who, did we know we were going to be in, you know, in turmoil this long? All right, well, we'll have a bit of a chat about that a little bit later. 
we'll get on with what we're doing and not worry about all that lot now okay so I've gone a little bit larger so you can see what I'm, what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to start working from this point here let's say this point not right on the end let's go from about here and my idea is to go from here across and over here somewhere okay so from here look and across this one so I've sort of ignored this line in the middle and I've gone to here and then I'm gonna go quite wide here and it's gonna get a little bit narrower see enjoy it okay all right so even if you know even if it's not up here or not to, it doesn't matter it's just well, let's work on that okay all right so I'm then going to turn my tile and starting at this point here okay let's go out a little bit so you can see where i'm going just so we don't get any confusion here started in this triangle on a cross i've ignored this line and i've joined at this one here started a little bit fatter then got thinner and then i'm going to turn it round and i'm going to repeat that so we we'll start here and i'm going to go across across that line there see and then when I get to this one, I'm going to stop and it's going to go underneath. And then, of course, a little bit of fatter there, coming in and then underneath. And it doesn't have to join at the bottom here. It's just coincidence that mine's done that at the moment. Okay, so turn it again from here. So I'm going to come round and then stop here and go underneath. Now this time, you see where I've got this little gap? There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and join that to that one there. And then let's do the same again. Look, a little bit fatter, getting a bit thinner as I get towards here. I might even look, yeah, I'm going to even sort of join that to the bottom. Okay. Turn it again. From here over see across that that line there and here now I'm going to go and join to wherever that is that's a one getting thinner okay okay and here we go again so this is my last one now isn't it here so I'm going to go from here over and under that one and then a little bit fatter there getting a little bit thinner there okay so you see here this is where we first started so I'm going to go ahead and just join that over and the same with this one let's take it over that line and just join it there so you'll have something a little bit similar everything everything will be a little bit different because you've started at different lines and different places but you've got this sort of interconnecting shape going on now looking at this here let's just imagine no it's not going to come out the other end if it did I'd, I'd add the extra on and same there but it's not it's sort of hiding underneath so that's absolutely fine so we've got all these sections now that we can work within and we've also got these extra lines here okay deep breath oh, oh it's all right Lindsay you're here now it's not a problem you can catch up in a bit just enjoy it all right, so we did do these a little bit fatter and thinner. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a really narrow sort of line on the inside there. Okay, you see it's a little bit wobbly, but that's fine, we don't mind wobbles. Okay, so if I turn that round and do the same again. a nice thin line, keep it going. I might have done mine a little bit thin but that's okay. Okay. Oh, hi there everybody. Have I missed one? Uh, oh, maybe I have. There we go. Oh, it's so nice when people can spot what you're doing and keep an eye on you. I'd be into all sorts of trouble, wouldn't I? There we go. I'd have spotted it and come back. There we go. And just keep 
keeping in with these nice little lines along the way. <laughs> oh, Susan, they are wobbly, honestly. <laughs> so we go a bit closer, look, look. You look, look, there's a wobble, see? A wobble. <laughs> well, that's okay. It's all the time for another cup of tea, isn't it? That's what it is. Perhaps I should say that a bit louder. Perhaps it's time for another cup of tea, isn't it, John? No. Selective hearing. <laughs> I do. Oh, do you now? See what I have to put up with. <laughs> he just gestured and said hello. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was really gesturing to say, where's your cup then, Sandra? So I love you very much and I'm going to make you a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, dear. Oh, honestly, don't matter. Even if it's, you know, it's not a shaped tile, it's... This is just something a little bit different. You can still do this on a square one. It's just, I suppose, you know, separating your, your tile up a bit. It's going to just give you a different effect. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah, John's just put cattle on, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Margarita. Yeah, he could he could multitask, he's had plenty of training. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna it doesn't matter which one of these lines I take, I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a curve. Like so. And then in we go. another one. See I've left a bit of a space in between. I'm just going ahead and covering that in there. Okay, let's go a little bit. <laughs> I don't think we've got any sugar in. Yeah. That's the thing and because we know we don't we don't have sugar in our drinks. If anybody does come to visit we've never got any. My mum actually has bought her own. Uh, sneak a little one there. Okay. And then either side, I'm going to put a little line next to it. Let's see. On each one. So there, it looks like I've got two, but I'm doing one either side. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look at that. Does he do copper deliveries? <laughs> oh, Janet. You know, I don't know if anybody knows that last year he, um, you know, because we, we do shows and things and it, we were fed up of um, renting vans all the time. So in his infinite wisdom, he brought a bus. <laughs> yeah, a bus. Uh, it's not a double decker or a single, it, it's one that will hold about, I don't know, 18 people or something. And he took the seats out and he said, that'd be brilliant because we can just wheel things in and out of it. We don't need to, you know, keep making up all our racks and things. And it's ideal, but he has been asked before now if he's you know, taking people to and f <laughs> to and from venues. I think he just wanted to buy a bus because he wanted to drive one. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good fun. I'm not, uh, I'm not volunteering to clean it though. But we have actually sort of said, you know, perhaps one tango class. <laughs> we could do, uh, we could tangle all over it. But I think maybe I should get a professional in there. Uh... Okay, so now honestly, I'm, I'm not taking a register, so you're all right. Don't you worry about it. Okay, so I've got this sort of stripy line going on in the center there. Um, I, I did toy with the idea of doing them all the same and I, I don't really want to. I think we've done so many different patterns that it's nice, I think, to start and add in a couple that we've already done just as a celebration of just how many we've actually done and where, how far we've come. 
So I think this tile's a little bit of a milestone, really. I mean, I'm not going to get anything in any further. So I'm just going to sort of colour that in there. Okay. So I like this one. Uh, it's a uh, it's a straightforward pattern because it's just lines. You see? So I'm not drawing that one there. And then same again here, look. And on this one. And I'm just going to follow it down, just keeping it going. Doing all those little lines, even when I can't quite get lots in, just a few of them. There we go. And then I'm going to turn it round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've had the practical and we've had the conversations. I did actually get him down from a double decker bus. Took some doing, but I know I wouldn't tell him this, but it it does actually do the job. So. And I think it'd be nice, you know, to eventually have space in there that you could perhaps sit and do some mobile classes now and again and things. It'd be quite fun. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go opposite again, and I'm going to do this one same way. So if you ever do go to a show and you see a, uh, a red, sort of a <laughs> call me bus, <laughs> it is, yeah, there we go. So just filling in again with those lines, even though we get really small, it's absolutely fine, I'm just going to fill it in, and then when I can't do any more, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sand tangled tool. Oh, so funny. There we go. I'm coming back down with these lines again, just filling in those spaces until we can't really get any more. Yeah, no, I mean, it is great because you can actually just wheel things in and out because it's got a ramp at the back. And it, so it, it, does, it does do the job, it's just, sometimes we get these crazy ideas, don't we? Well, they do. Okay, I'm going to leave these ones because sometimes it's nice to have a, a space with none in and it's ni a nice sort of balance. So let's, let's not worry about those ones. So now, okay, you can do this on any one that you like. I don't really mind, it's whatever you want to do. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this one here. little triangle so I'm going to start from this point and again it doesn't matter which one you start with I'm going to start from this point here and I'm going to come out a bit of a curve okay now somebody that they know sort of what they're doing they've got the hang of these patterns they know what's coming here I'm going to start at this point here look and then I'm going to come out okay to my tile from this point and I'm going to come out. Okay, to my tile, this point, out. Okay, we've done this before actually on a hexagon and we use sort of slightly straighter lines um, and then we sort of created the pattern going out, sort of outwards as well. And I did do a, a quick session on this, on how to do this pattern. Uh, I can't remember, at the end of one, it was the end of the one that looked like the raspberry flower shapes. I can't remember what tile that was, number 20 something. Uh, yeah, paradox, we do love paradox. But you see, putting that slight curve on it changes it a little bit. There we go. Just filling it in so we've got no more space. There we go. Right, so there's my first one filled. Okay. Ready for the next. Uh, which one to do? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go center. Okay. So this one, lovely little one, and it's the it was one of the very first ones that we ever did. This is from tile one. And we're 
we're just going around in a swirl. Next one. Now remember these don't have to be the same size, they can be different sizes, you can go different ways if you want to. And you see how I just sort of went underneath there? Yeah, you can do that. Going underneath. But if you find that you've got a bit of a gap, go on in and, and add a bit of that black pen there. Just following it round. Okay. A bit of that there. Adding that one in. So I'm going to do one over here, in the, right in the middle of this space. How many times we say don't do something in the middle because you'll waste it? And we know we're not going to. Because then we're going to fill all of this in. And you know, I think sometimes if you, you start at one end and you work your way around, you end up with a bit of a uniform sort of pattern. These are just totally random. I think if you, you just go off and, and do one somewhere else, so let's do one here. Like, it makes you rethink it. Oh, hey, hey, Lane. Nice to speak to you again. If you're okay. It's been ages, hasn't it? There we go. Let's pull that bit in. And then keep going around. Might do quite a big one now. Look, let's just pull that bit in. Right. There we go. You can come back and fill these gaps in later if you want to. You don't have to do them as you're going. But it's, uh, it's whatever you feel like doing. I think today I'm going to do them as I go. You see this one here? It's going to sort of be a little bit... Uh, just a bit of one. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mary. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit of a crazy day, wasn't it? But, um, it was nice actually to have a bit of a break because I spent the whole afternoon in the green room finishing that to the jellyfish that had started from the first show. Yeah. Okay. Such fun with that. It was really, really great for I loved doing that one. Okay, so there's another pattern in there. Okay. Oh, so I'm glad. You know, and I know. There was a few disappointed people because the stock, so we did take a lot on. And as you know, I mean, it's John and I, and we've, we've got, it's a really good printer, but we've only got a printer and we're going out as quick as we can to get everything out. Uh, as soon as, you know, the orders for CNC are out, then I'll, uh, I will put it on my website and I, I am due back on at some point. So please don't worry if you didn't get it. So we make them ourselves. We'll 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 keep going. So everybody's got one. Don't uh, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to go now into this one here. I think this little one. All right. So this section here. And we're going to start from one end, right at the top here, and I'm going to go and put a curved line in. Okay. It's got a bit bigger, so you can see it. And then just a little bit of a blob on the end there. And that's coming from the other side. And a little blob on the end. And then the other side. And a little blob. And the other. And a little blob. And you see I'm just going to go from one side to the other. Just adding in those little blobs. As I go. Just sort of adds a little bit of weight to that top bit. Let's just do one here. Just filling that in. Oh, Joe. Yeah, uh, yeah, we could do. I think the only our only issue with the organising the storage is, of course, it's just getting the material in and the supplies. But uh, but yeah, I mean, if, you know, if there's if you. I know there's some still outstanding, but I'm trust me, I'm working on that. I know um, Hermes has been a, a bit of an issue, but again, yeah, that's not. Do you know why it is? And it, I think it's as I said before, it's a, a celebration of all these different patterns that we've done, um, and sometimes it's nice to go back to have a look at this one. Yeah. Oh, Sam, I'll have to. Uh, I can't remember the name of that one. But well, maybe we'll do it again in another uh, in another session. Okay. I wonder if you'll remember this one. 
So I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a line in the middle of my space. And then yeah, I'm going to split that space into two and the same this side into two. Yeah, it'll definitely come, Joe. Now here, I think if I split it there, they're going to be a bit narrow. So I'm going to, I'm going to sort of split my space. So I've got a grid of, you know, about three there. Okay. 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 So next bit then, I'm going to, I'm going to go from top to bottom, sort of diagonally. I'm going to put that sort of little S in. Okay, let's go a bit bigger this. That's the one, Janet. That's the one. And then, again, I'm going to make that a little bit thicker. Then I'm going to make this one a little bit thicker. And then if I turn it round, I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to put that little sort of s -y type shape in. Yeah, Nadia, you'll be able to have a look on catch-up, I think. Do they keep the shows on? I think so. Sometimes it's just nice to see, um, you know, what I did with some of the the bits and pieces. So I'm going, I'm doing the S's first and going back and doing that. It's, it's whichever way it works. So there's my S again. Look, I'm thicken this bit and this bit. Turn it round. Oh, hang on, lost me. Oh, there we go, lost me. And there. Uh, Thicken that one, that one. A bit there. Turn it round. See, I'm not quite getting the, the point sort of up there, so you won't see all of that one. So I like this pattern. I think it's it's not the you know it's not really that complex, but it's it looks really effective. It's a nice one to do. Here we go again. So there. And then imagine that one coming down. Get a bit of that one. And then, see, I'm sort of working a little backwards there, but it's fitting in. There we go. Okay. Let's see, let's have a look at that one. Okay. All right. So, so it's nice to sort of turn this around, isn't it? You get different viewpoints from wherever you're going, which is really nice. So okay, let, let's go and do let's do another grid. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this I'm gonna pick this one this time, and I'm gonna make the grid a little bit smaller. So you know where we split it into two before. I mean my my space they seem to be a little pretty even, but yours might not be, so it might not be a problem. You see they're looking at, see before I split this into three, yeah, I'm going to do it into four this time. So I've got a, a smaller grid, or oh, I might even get another one in there, look. There we go. Okay, so it's, it's slightly different. Alright. Oh, Jan, you did! Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I did, I picked the, I did pick the number, as uh, Lauren said in the green room. How do you want to do this? I said, oh, I'll just give you a number. How many? So it was, it was, re it was random. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm glad. Hopefully, you know, you'll, you'll find a use for those items and you'll create some wonderful things. It'd be nice. But I don't know if you, 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 you caught, you did say that Andy had got something as well. So I, I did send him two sets of bits and pieces. So... There's another chance. That's over on Andy's Facebook page. So. Okay. so I'm not going to get a full one there. I'm just going to get a little bit on the end, I think. There you go. See? Yeah, another great, uh, another great pattern, that one, isn't it? Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to pick... Uh, oof. I'm going to do this one now. Again, whichever one you want to do start with that dot again and then let's swirl it round but this time I'm gonna 
quite a little bobble on it. Okay, let's go a little bit bigger. And looking around, see another bobble. So I'm following the swirl, but it's a crazy swirl, isn't it? Just keep it going. Now with this one, you can stick with the whole, this the whole shape, and then just keep it going. Or you can start another one. Depends on how uh, how large your space is there. I've only got a little space, but I'll see if I can just get a little one in there. Okay, I do like that one. Funny, isn't it? You think all oh, these patterns, how, how do they actually all go together? But some strange way they do. All right, let's go with another one then. Oh, let's go with. I'm going to go with this one. Oh, shall I? Yeah, I'll go with that one. Let's, let's not. Okay. Crazy lines now. So, grid, but not a grid. Let's mix it up a little bit. Go in with. There we go. That was, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> a few crazy lines. I think sometimes the more you think about this, the more you sort of start getting involved. Don't think about it at all. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take each section. And I'm going to go around the corners, let's see, around the corners and follow it through like so. Oh, Gillian, I'm gonna, I will bring it back. I will. There we go. So you see, I'm starting now to sort of find that there's these little gaps. You know, it's up to you. You can either go and colour those little gaps in, see there, or you can just leave them blank. It's entirely up to you. See there. Look. I don't know what I want. I think uh, it depends on what, what you feel like at the time, and you get a slightly different sort of feel uh, whether you colour it in or not. But just follow your lines, but when you get to those corners, just round them off. Working it round. So each one has its own little pattern. It's a bit like crazy paving. Okay, I do like that one. Well, there's nothing stopping you actually putting a pattern in that as well. Uh, you can leave it as such, or say you can pattern within patterns within patterns. It's entirely up to you. It's absolutely fine. Okay. So I've got um, quite a small space here, so I wonder what we're going to put in there. Hmm, let's go with bubbles. I do like my bubbles. Okay. Fill in that in. Now your choice, you can go in and add another bubble, or you can just simply fill it in. So it's still got a little bit of a gap around there. Okay. All right. Okay, quick sip of tea, being that my husband's made it with. Okay, firm favourite now, I think. Uh, where am I going to start? I'm going to work. I'm going to work from a corner upwards, I think. So here we go. In with two little lines, and then a little curve on the top, and then around we go. Okay. And then let's do it again. So two little lines, the curve on the top. Oh, Catherine, yeah, I, I will bring some more back. It's just the time to make them. Uh, you know, it's, it's not just a case of print it and there it is. We, you know, we print it, punch the holes, make sure everything's in. But we'll, we'll get there. It won't be long. We're working on it, honestly. I'm going to fill this space with all these lovely little uh, shapes there, just so they, they grow and fill that back. One on top of the other, no particular way of drawing them, no order, no planning, just filling that space. 
can imagine putting this on your journal page now and all these spilling out <laughs> onto your journal page that'd be quite nice wouldn't it see I'm so they're all squishing in up the top there so it looks like they're going underneath them yeah, they'll start to sort of pull up all that ground start coming out the woodwork in any space that we've got left there. Okay. Maybe that way. And then a bit. I'm doing quite a bit of colouring today. I must be in that kind of mood it's just to get some of this pop on. So I think you know it really gives it a bit of definition there, doesn't it? So let's look at that. Okay. So we've done a few bits and pieces in there. Still a few to go. All right. So, uh, oh, I'm going to go with this one here. And I know that we've done some sort of stripes here on this one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some stripes in this one too. every other one see why I only picked a little one there okay and then let's go uh, which way yeah, I'm going to go into this one here uh, this is one of my firm favourites is we've got that lovely comery type shape curve and it comes back in on itself and round okay and then another one see it's going underneath so you won't see a lot of that let's go there and another one Does, doesn't it? <laughs> like sometimes it's nice, isn't it? There's no, there's no real picture here. It's very abstract, which is pure uh, zentangle. But it's, you know, you you having little memories and little flashbacks of, you know, all these different tiles that we've we've done throughout this twenty four. I think it's really nice to, to sort of just really go back and say, look, you know, we oh, we like this one or this one wasn't so much. But yeah, things change and you, you have different views as you're going along. You think, oh, I can do this one this time. I know it's not every tangle's for every person. I've tried to give you a selection of, um, you know, of structured ones and organic ones and some you'll go ahead and you'll use even more. Some you might never ever pick up again, but you know you've, you've had a go, haven't you? And that's the main thing. Okay, that's that one. Let's have a look at that. Okay, quite a few going on there. Oh, hey, Yvonne, welcome. Okay, so a couple more. Are we ready for this? Let's go on in then. Ooh, what to do with these? What to do with these? Let's have a think. Okay. Let's go in and I'm going to work with this one here. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put in that little sort of droplet shape. And then fill in that one on that one. Little bubbles. And then fill in any of those gaps. Let's have a little line, a little dot. Okay, not really going to put yeah, that's a little bit of one in there. I'm 
not really going to do too much in that because it's quite a small space. So that's okay. Okay. Our last one. Now, I say our last one. It's entirely up to you whichever one you want to do. If, uh, if you've got a particular pattern that you really loved, then by all means, go right ahead and, and put it in and do it. But it's entirely up to you. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to aim for a, a tiny sort of little grid there. Just so we've, we've done a lot of organics, so let's do a little grid and see where I've got this sort of curve. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add that curve in. See? Okay. Uh, yeah, you could put zingers in there, but I think that was going to be reserved for the, uh, the page afterwards. So let's go ahead and see how small we can get, look. And I'm just adding in. Let's go a little bit so you can see it, look. Those little curves. Now this is sort of taking us right back to the uh, original tile we did. And it's the pattern that we added into the background. But we did it a little bit bigger. I'm just challenging you now to do it. So where we're just gonna fill in that pattern. Okay, really, really small. So there we go. So all our space is filled. So now it's a case of let's uh, see if we can bring it to life a little bit. So we're ready for this. In with our pencil. Okay, I'm gonna start in the middle. That means it's less chance of smudging anything, isn't it? Especially yeah, the hands going over. And I'm going to go in and add some on each side of that shape in the centre. Oh, Vivian, don't worry about it. Just uh, even if you put a few in, even if there's some in particular you like so much, you've repeated it, it says fine. There we go. Okay. So let's go a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing there. I've just added some pencil all, all around there. Oh, Mitch, it's almost like I planned it, isn't it? It's almost like, as a teacher, I've, uh, I've, you know, I've got some sort of formulation going on here. But you don't need to. You don't need to know that. You just need to sit and sit and enjoy it. Oh, great! There we are. See, I've just smoothed it out a little bit, but I've left the centre all nice and white. Okay. So I'm not particularly going in order with these, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's go and add a little bit. I think this one here, I'm going to do the same again because it's quite small. Let's go on and add it all around the edge. And I'm going to do that, this one, just on that edge there. My bubbles, that familiar little smirk. Okay, and then this one here, it's so small to do anything with. Again, I'm just going to go around the edge. See? Is that all my little ones? Oh no, I've got another little one here. Oh, you can uh, use a piece of sandpaper and, or an air file for your, your tortilla on and then you just um, <laughs> and you just rub it onto your sandpaper or your, uh, is it your nail file and that will give you a nice uh, clean end again. Just very gentle because there are any small sort of spaces here. Right. And then here I did this one and I'm just going to flick it out that way. Little smirks. Yeah. Actually, I wonder if I have got a bit. So I'll see. And, uh, see if John's got some sandpaper and I can show you how. Yeah. John? John? Do you have a, a bit of sandpaper there? No. Oh. Oh, is there not a piece of sandpaper over there? There we go. That's all those sanded in. Now, if you uh, are lucky enough to have your white chalk pencil handy. Thank you, John. There we go. I'm going to do with this little stripey section here. Is I'm going to go and put a line straight down the middle 
not going to boil it out or anything, just a line straight down the middle. Let's have a look at that. You see what it just gives it that little edge? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So, working on the outer sections here, my paradox. Let's go with that one first. And I'm just going to add some of that pencil just up to the, the points. You know, it starts to sort of flick out as a fan. I'm just going to add some in. And the same there. As we know, we can put all the patterns in here and we've kept it quite plain, really. But if you want to go ahead and do something else with it, that's fine. It's just keeping it sort of the basics for now. Just in little bits. There we go. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what colour are you going, Amanda? Pink? Maybe a hint of blue? Okay, this one here, let's go around the outside. Is it because the, the, the patterns, are, you know, the spaces are quite small? We don't want to go and focus in on every single sort of tiny little one so sometimes it's nice just to just to work around the edge there we go right oh Tracy now that's why it, it, it takes a bit of practice and I do try and, and explain a little bit more detail on how to do it you see this time look I'm going to go in but in the centre, but having said how to do it, there's no real rules. I mean, I could have gone around the edge with this one again. But it's just nice to have a, a bit of a variation. So that's why I sort of thought I'd do it that way. Oh, Sandra, it's here. It's packed. It's just got to get to the post office. Anyway, just depends on, on you know on what time I can get out of here because the post office is about. 20 minutes away uh, but then of course you you know you've got the queues and so if it's not today it'll definitely be tomorrow that'll be out on its way to you okay so you can see that I've got a different yeah it is Rhiannon you see that look I've got a different view this one I've gone around the outside but this one I've done the middle bits so I'm getting slightly different versions of different things and I try and give you different ways of doing it but by all means it's not the only way so for example this one if i wanted to just go around the edges before i could do but i do quite like having a little bit of um, a shadow on each one on this one you see but you know if you want to just go around the edge that's that's fine there's, there's no hard and fast rules of what it has to be this is just my way of doing it but you'll, you'll develop your own come <laughs> Does that mean it's sort of like not straight anymore? Or you don't have one, or it's really short? <laughs> I know. Oh, you do make me laugh. I did say last week, didn't I? We're like a little community now, and you get this little snippet of people's lives. So haircuts and hair dyes, making biscuits, you know, all sorts of things. There we go. You see there, I've just followed, the, the, you know, with the, with the uh, torty on there, the pencil was. To create that one. This one I'm going to work in a similar way. I'm just going to add a little bit, you see. I sort of just to one side, and once you've decided which side, then you're just going to continue with it there. Now, if I'd have gone the other way, I'd have, I'd have made sure that all my little zigzags were the other side. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Leslie's still painting. I can't wait till I see you, that you've tangled on a piece. It's going to look awesome. I uh, posted the other month, I think, is it Sue? Yeah, Sue Brown. She's tangled on a piece of furniture. It's ace. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so almost, almost there. We've got a few more to do, but you can see the difference look, between... Uh, 
between doing this one in a section and then doing like uh, just an outline. So here I've got a bit of sandpaper. There we go. So if I just literally rub along it, see I've got a bit of blue pasta on there. And I'm twist I'm sort of twisting it as I go. See, so I'm getting that point. I'm keeping that point. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> There we go, so you can see that it's coming away. I mean, I'm trying to do it so you can see and also so I'm getting it at the same time. There you go, so I've still got, I've got that point coming like you see. There we go. And you can also as well, if you find that your point goes, if you push a paper clip, you know, unfold a paper clip and push it into the hole there, at the back, there you go, hole there, push it through, I'll actually push that back out. So that's that's a good way of looking at it. Okay. So where are we? We're on our little roots here. Oh, a quick sip of that tea. It's lovely. So again, I could actually go all the way around if I wanted to. Or let's just go in and add a little bit to each one. You see, it's that there's a lot of things that I do. They're very repetitive, and I keep coming back to them. And they might be in slightly different formats, but it's it's sort of always the same technique, but in a sort of different style. But it starts that you, you then build and you, your confidence grows. Before you know it, you, you're doing this before I'm even saying, let's do this. Okay. Oh, she is. Okay, so let's have a look at these ones. Although they're plain, we don't want them to be plain, do we? We want them to be left. So again, this is something that we've, we've done before. And I'm going to add some here. Quite a bit there. I'm going to add some on the other side. Oh, great, Vivian. And then look here, I'm going to add some. There's one thing not to do with your tortillon. Don't try and sharpen it with a pencil sharpener. I'm not mentioning any names. But no, don't do that, don't work. <laughs> okay. So you see what I've done there? I've just I've pulled it from one end to the other, but I've left the centre. There we go, same here. So you've just got that little white highlight. You see there and there. Okay. So just a couple more bits and pieces now. We're not we're not far off. So what I'm going to do is, remember this side section here, get just a little bit on the edges, just a little bit. I'm not even going to touch it there, it's too, too fine. And then a little bit there, more. And again with that tortillon, just touch it. Just a little bit on those sides there. You don't want to go in the middle. Okay. And then, of course, if you have got that pencil or a white pen, I'll do the same job. Go on in and add in that white pencil. Let's have a look at that. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Um, I think the crossways. I don't think I've got a ruler here handy. I think across, I think it's 8.3 centimetres, I think. No, a second. no, it's going to be slightly smaller than that, isn't it? It fits within because this is 8.3. This is 8.3 centimetres, that's a bit smaller. Okay. So, uh, oh, Marguerite, of course you can, yeah, I mean, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm showing you how to do it, but you were actually physically doing the uh, the tile, so mm -hmm. if uh, if you want to, you know, add it to a card or something, or you know, then by all means. Now you're not really going to see much of this, I know, but I am going to just put some pencil either side of these lines. It's just. You know, so I, I know it's there. I'm even going to go across that one, see, and I think that just sort of adds. That's what I said, isn't it? I think Friday. 
just these little extra bits make all the difference just takes it from being a good tile to a, to a great tile. Um, yeah, so I'm not particularly going to shade it out, I'm just adding that right in there. See, it just sort of differentiates foreground and background. There we go. Next one. I'm going to go back in with my pen and just where we've, we've done those lines I'm going to go back in and just make sure that you can see them as we've said before you know, if, you, uh, if you're putting a lot of graphite on you can sometimes lose the definition of that particular line going to go around put those lines back in on both sides I'm not going to worry about the bit in the middle I'm just doing the outer edges Let's that one start and that one finished about there so, there go. just repeating those lines and you see that I've gone over just like with that one straight over This one. It just sort of defines those edges, doesn't it? Gives it a sense of, you know, a sense of depth. That you know, one thing's above the other. It's not all just pencil and patterns. We have actually got some three dimensions going on there. Okay. So last one. You want to thicken some of those lines up a bit again you can do so but I'm going to leave them as that just for now yeah, let's have a look all right one more job then pencil and remember where we, we started here now you, you, there's two ways of looking at this you could actually if you add some shadow on the inside here it will make it look as though this is actually in front of this that this looks on the inside so well, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, I'm really putting some in. You see? Let's really go for it. So I'm really pressing on there. Just adding some of that pencil in. I'm just going to keep going. Filling it all the way around. Even going over if I've got pencil there before. Okay. You see how that's sort of starting to make it look like it's behind that one? So just just a gentle smooth out with that tortillon. Right, on each one. See I'm not I'm not going too far, I'm just giving it a little bit of a smooth, nothing much. Joyce, um, I think there is a button that says videos, isn't there? And I'm sure if you click on that button, it, it'll actually bring you a list. I know there's there's one, I think it's number three, that's a little bit elusive. And that, I think that's because for some reason it, it went out live on my other page, which is just Sandra Rushton. And I did share it to this page afterwards, but even I struggle to find that one sometimes. So uh, they're all... They are all there. I think what I've started doing as well is that after each session I go on and I save it to my own videos. Okay. Yeah. So, you see I've just done the same thing on the outside. I've just left that, that very fine border in the middle with nothing. Yeah. yeah, do you know what, actually I think my, yeah, I'm just looking now, yeah, my sample, I've actually used um, black pen, and I've filled black pen in this section here, 
so it just sort of breaks it up a bit but uh, I'll show you that in a minute so again this is it's all choice isn't it it's always choice what do you want to do with it I'm giving you the starting points and the ideas but um, it, it's entirely up to you Oh, the one I split into four. I can't remember what number that one was. Does anybody off the top of their head know what number that one was? Was that number 13 or 14? Because I know it was in the second sort of set that we did, wasn't it? Okay, let's have a look at that. <laughs> it doesn't have to be precise. It really doesn't. So there we go. That's our sort of tile, that's our number 24, and it's a little, it's a little homage to all the other patterns that we've done before. What I'm going to do, I think it needs it. Oh, thank you, Leslie, number 15. I'm going to sort of thicken up that little bit there. See, there's nothing stopping us going in and redoing. And you know, as I said at the beginning, this should have been our, I say should have been, it is our last one or our last tile for these sessions. We started at 12 and then we moved to 24 um, and nobody ever imagined that this would be going on as long as it has done. So, uh, so I've had quite a chat with John this weekend and we've had to think about, about this and what we can do. And uh, I think the decision uh, made that it doesn't really matter how long it goes on for. I don't really want to leave you abandoned. <laughs> without anything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on i'm just going to keep going i'm not going to put a number on the tiles i'm going to keep going until we're all either back at work or things are back as they you know they well they're never going to be back as they were are they but until things are back up and running and you know we're back at work back with our daily lives and i think at that point then we'll review and we'll perhaps knock it back to you know a couple every so often or whatever but i won't leave you and i won't stop doing it i think if you think it's been beneficial and it's been helpful then I'll, I'll keep it going if that's okay with everybody so whilst you're still going to stop and watch i'm going to still carry on doing them um as, as so that, you know as best as i can anyway so we'll still carry on wednesdays fridays and then back to mondays um if that's okay with you, you know, i mean you've been supportive of, of me as as much as i'm hopefully been supportive for you so Let's, let's just keep it going, shall we? I think the community that we've built now has been wonderful. And it, it's just lovely that we're, we, we now, you know, we've we found you know, maybe lifelong friends again and people that we can connect with. So you keep doing what you're doing and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. So here we go, the tile. And I, I thought, yeah, you're gonna be asking the question, how do I put it in my journal? So here we go. Here's the one. I've not, I've not done anything with it yet. As you can imagine, I've had a busy weekend. It's actually come with my round tire, which I've you know, used four corners. But the great thing with this is you can actually use three uh, photo corners. Or even if you wanted to, you, don't, you could actually connect them together so you can become a bit patchwork-like, can't it? Because they'll fit beautifully. Yeah. Oh, seriously, guys, you, you, you're more than welcome. Yeah, so it's, it's been helping me too. So it's entirely up to you, say, if you want to do a whole page of, uh, you know, of patchworky type ones and you can match things up and it's entirely up to you. But uh, I've not decided yet. I've not decided which way I'm going with it. Um, I, will, I will do something with the, with the page and I'll sort it out, but whatever you, whatever you want to do with it. So I think what would be nice is to actually create more of these um, and to actually go back and look at every single pattern we've done and try and fit every pattern in and trust me there's a lot um, there must be 40 50 patterns now and just see where they all fit in and where they they change so that'd be something to look at or even looking at something like this one putting this swirl in this shape now we are going to look at actually creating shaped tiles and getting them out as packs but um, we, we're not quite there yet, but they're coming. So please don't, don't, uh, don't worry about that. If you want to do more, there's, there's, we are going to get some shapes out there. So yeah, all, all good. So again, yeah, Garth, that portrait you did is great. You, you should share it actually and show everybody. But it's, it's only if you feel confident enough. 
so okay that's tile number 24 i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you know you want to keep going try it again and put some colors on and see where that goes as well i think what we're going to do then is wednesday let's let's sort of go back let's say back to basics and we'll go back to a cream regular cream tile pen pencil tortillon as before but I think actually, yeah, let's let's throw in a few pencils to go with it, um, coloured pencils, and see where it takes us. Um, so yeah, oh, Smoffy, honestly, as I say, it's been my pleasure and my honour actually because getting to know some of you and you, you know you get these little snippets and it's really nice. And I think if we all support each other, it makes a difference to our day, doesn't it? So so thank you, thank you everybody for you know keeping this going and supporting me. Um, and yeah, I will see you on Wednesday. So have fun with this one. Let me know how you're getting on. Send me some pictures. And yeah, we'll meet here same time, same place um, on Wednesday. All right, have fun with it, guys. Enjoy. <laughs>